Welcome back. Millions of people are expected to travel by plane over the next month, and with little ones in tow, it can be quite an ordeal. Tonight, one airline is taking a lot of heat from moms regarding its policy for strollers. Consumer investigator Danielle Serino joins us. Not a great week for American, Danielle. Yeah, not exactly. And as a non-mom, I learned a lot about strollers today, and I feel for the parents who have to travel with them. Now, some airlines have pretty liberal policies that cut down on the stress of flying. Others, like American Airlines, not so much, and that is not flying with families. I don't know what it is with strollers and American Airlines, but they don't seem to like them very much. Remember this incident back in March? I don't care what the story is. You almost heard a baby. The mother tried to bring her double wide stroller onto the plane and down this single aisle. A flight attendant told her she needed to gate check it, and when she didn't, he took it away. But she's lucky she even got it onto the plane. According to this very angry Facebook post, a mom traveling alone with a two-month-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old was turned away at security because of her stroller, a baby jogger city select like this one. They wanted her to check it at the ticket counter, forcing her to walk through the airport with two infants in tow. You see, according to the TSA website, American Airlines is the only domestic airline that requires any strollers more than 20 pounds to be checked at the ticket counter. That rules out almost any stroller except a lightweight umbrella one like this. But the other airlines allow you to bring them right to the gate. Something that's apparently a big deal given the more than 100 comments made on that Facebook post. Mom was eventually allowed on, but not before she says they marked her account so she wouldn't be able to fly again with the stroller. American Airlines says for extenuating circumstances, such as a parent with multiple children or a special needs child, they sometimes make exceptions, but they don't have a policy, they said, that penalizes flyers for that. Your best bet, check with the airline before you book your ticket. And I put more airlines information on our website, WKYC.com. Sarah. Thanks. Good tips, Danielle.